Greetings, Entities and Guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Cooker Run Kingdom. I've been stressing out to do this video for so long because I just wanted to make sure I was prepared. I wanted to make sure that everything was set and ready. And my gosh, we finally reached that point where I'm going to finally go back to the main story and I am going to attempt, bear in mind, attempt World 11. I know I didn't want to do this yet, I want to make sure everything was prepared, but I feel like I should just dip my toes in the water before I get too far, but for now, we're going to go through with it, but before we even start, if you want to, hello there, Kiwi Biker Cookie, driving their motorcycle or car or whatever, just outside my house, if you want to leave a comment down in the comment section for me to read in these videos, then feel free to do so, whether if it's a random question, a comment, a fact, something about the game, something about myself, something completely random, then feel free to do so, I'll try and do questions of the day, which I, uh, I keep forgetting, but uh, I really love interacting with each and every one of you, and all of you are fine, I, and all of you are great, all of you are amazing, but... Before we even start, let's read a couple from, uh, you know, a couple people. The first, I'm actually reading comments from the Oyster Cookie Quote Story and Upgrades video. And uh, Valentine Chaco first says, she has such a pretty design. I gotta admit, Oyster Cookie does look pretty marvelous. Just gotta say that in design. Oh, the website is glitching. Won't let me plug in the like comments, I swear, YouTube. Uh, Hugh Mora says, do more story mode. No, do story mode. Well, today's your lucky flipping day. Because now we can do story mode. I actually think someone told me that I missed the chest. In a uh, world 10, I think, but uh, I'll give it a ch I'll give it a quick gander because you never know. I want to make sure that I'm not forgetting a chest because if I'm forgetting, oh yeah, treasure chest, free gains, please. Uh, coins, crystals, and a bunch of these other things. That's really good. I'm glad that someone told me in the comments about that because without you, I could not be here. Oh, here we are. How the plug did you get here? We kind of need you in another area. There's like a really strong dragon with eyes that's kind of like taking over the land. Like, can you go deal with that instead? Okay, so I guess we're just also introduced to, like, the Queen Cookie. We haven't received a word from her ever since. There is absolutely no way to arrange her arrival. <laughs> you cookies are boring. All of you. But her. And bring someone similar. A strong, fierce warrior. Don't worry, we're coming. I really just want to like. Is it just me or does he have like a? Do they have like a punchable face? Yes, Lord Dragon. We shall do all in our power to help you conquer your boredom. Oh hey. What can we do? The light of the shield is becoming dimmer by the day. Clearly, there is a limit to the power of these scarce fragments. Our expeditions have managed to procure. Do you just take the shield and like bash the dragon alongside the head with it? Yeah, it's surely getting dim. Oh and hey, hey, hey there, King. I wish the shield's power resonated with me, too. Well, it's actually not our king. It's like the Hollyberry Kingdom king, but, you know, my loyalty goes to custard, you know? Oh, we have managed to keep the kingdom together for so long, but this time, the odds are against us, I'm afraid. How'd you do it before, then? I'm curious. With that monster on the Hollyberry throne, and without the shield, our homeland is in grave danger. My dearest queen, do not lose hope. A few days ago, I'll mean shortly, I felt as if the light was strong once again. Mm, I wonder who could be responsible for that one. And I swear, I was sure this warm wave of energy was coming closer and closer. I wonder who those could be. Perhaps it is a good omen, my darling. Know that no matter what happens, I shall be there for you. Oh, darling! This land is desperate for a hero who could wield the shield and ignite the flame of passion in our cookies once again. Do I do I just gotta pick it up? I could just pick up the shield and go like, oh, alright, let's go. 
All right, it's story time, and also before uh, and by story time I mean like playing the game time. Before we do that, there's some short comments from uh, first of all a fifty w fifty a fifty w fifty saying, "Do you have a different device when playing Cooker and Kingdom? Because there isn't a screen recorder. It's a device that records a screen." Yeah, I use a separate camera to record the screen because I tried screen recording Kingdom and the screen recorder kept crashing. So I have to use this in order to make sure that it doesn't crash. Only so far, it's broken once. And somehow, I can't believe how it's done that. And I mean, the ca this camera has broken, not the screen recorder. But, uh, yeah. We just have to go through there. Now, also, I was given a good word of advice. Someone told me, and I think it was in a later video from the comments, I should swap out Sorbet for Sea Fairy. The main reasoning is just because Sea Fairy is good for multiple enemies and good for more common levels, but Sorbet Shark is amazing for boss levels and can just instantly fold and slide them. So, this is the current team that I'm going to be going with, and I'm hoping that it's going to be enough. Hey, what is this? Max HP up. Plus 100 HP for all your cookies. When the fuck did I get this? Okay. I'll take it. Oh, and also another comment comes from uh, Ken, or Okeno, who says, Hi, Hyper Himes. Congratulations on getting Oyster Cookie. I'm soon going to get her because I have 13 out of 20. I need 7 more Soul Stones. I'm soon going to get Dark Cow Cookie because I have 19 out of 20 Soul Stones. I need one more of his Soul Stones. I'd recommend getting, I, just, I guess, a uh, Dark Cacao first, only just because if you're that close, then just why not? Alright, just use the ocean and swash. It's been so long since I've done this. When, when was the last time that I played the main story? Because my gosh, it must have been a while. But don't worry, we still got these buffs rolling. Gonna hit him with a sword, and then hit him with the ocean waves. Swoosh. I know it doesn't seem like we're losing much health, but I can see my health bar moving, and I don't like that. Alright, moving on. Here's that. Boop. Stop that. Alright, get hit with the ocean again as I heal everyone with sheep and guitar. Because what else do you need in life? All you need in life is just sheep and guitar. And also, you got a Claire reading books to us. Because, hey, that helps us with knowledge. Alrighty, Dighty. It, it's just one pupper. Just get out of here. Man, those dogs are strong, I swear. Oh, those are stronger dogs, though. Hit him with the parfait. And then hit him with the water. And then they should be gone just a couple seconds after this. I'm hoping. While I finish these clubs up, I'm going to read another comment from L 10 who says, This is nice for the one who doesn't have oyster. Absolute me, of course. Uh, I wish my tropical vacation didn't end. But I miss Mama and Papa. Are they doing well? Is this supposed to happen after the tropical soda islands? Because uh, I know... She, Night Cookie, and uh, Sparkling Cookie went on the boat and just like went adventuring. So I'm assuming this happened because she's like, oh, I wish my tropical vacation didn't end. You're gonna make me hungry to eat berries. Princess just be like, no, let's take the dangerous route. Um, yeah, but there's still so, so much in the world I haven't seen. Oh, hey, plant. For example, that awesome jungle monster I see for the first time. Look! How are you not terrified? Please, step aside your curiousness. It's too dangerous. I shall face the monster. <laughs> oh, you've got it. Oh my gosh, Knight! Why? Why? Just, you just get a better job. You don't even look. You don't even sound scared. You're just curious. All right, I don't want to sound rude. Like I really don't want to sound rude. But does. Does, does Princess Cookie need, like, a reality check? Because how does anyone not see that's bad? Seriously. Also, I got a comment from Hazim Mas Masadi, who says, A five chocolate topping for Solder. What is that? I know they say five chocolate, I guess five of the uh, chocolate toppings, but for Solder? I'm not sure what cookie that would be. Oh, did they mean oyster? Because that's where the video is from. I don't know, but one million... 500,000 experience and also four cookie cutters with some coinage. That's good. I like that. And now we gotta get to 11-3. Fantastic. At least we're hopefully poten potentially getting good rewards out of this. 
and I really appreciate the max HP boost. Oh, I got, by the way, a comment comes from, uh, Chips, who says, remember to use two healers to support. I say that you use Parfait and Cotton com uh, combined. Well, guess what? I'm using that, and honestly, it's working out pretty well for me. I feel like it's, uh, swapping out, uh, Sorbet with Sea Fairy is a lot better of a decision because, honestly, these wave hits are very good. Though, if I ever choose to, maybe at some point I can replace... If I ever get them, I gotta replace Parfait with Pure Vanilla. Though, it would be kind of hard because I can easily, like, upgrade Pure Vanilla with, like, promotion mileage. But, like, that's gonna be way hard to do with, uh, Pure Vanilla because their Soul Stones are not easy to come by. You gotta be super lucky to even un unlock them. Like, legit. I was just lucky enough to get, uh, everyone else just by, you know, gotcha luck, I guess. But, huh. I'm so glad that through this I still did some upgrading because I'm scared what would happen if I went through this and just, like, I didn't upgrade at all. Like, seriously. This would be an absolute nightmare. I think. But I'm still going through this with- uh, Hey, don't you dare back up. I'm, I still got, uh, my moment with you. I don't know what that even means. Uh, Icy Blade says, Oyster is very powerful, but she has one bug con. She needs 25.4% cooldown and a maxed out jelly clock to get four soldiers. Any less and she is losing a ton of power. Huh. And someone actually responded, which I guess I'll point out here. I only use three soldiers and still viable. Interesting. Three soldiers isn't enough for some. But, uh, so, oh, oh yeah, they're talking about the soldier form previous topping, uh, plebbing talk. So, I gotta figure out, I'm trying to remember, uh, I think she'd be good as a support, but I'm just, if I were to use Plebbing Oyster Cookie, because I did promote her a couple times, I guess, what would I, what would be the best option for you? And, you know what, by the way, well, I'm, I'm just, by the way, I got that Searing Raspberry, that's good. While I'm uh, asking questions, let me ask a uh, question of the day. In my opinion, what is your, I, I know, it's, uh, oh, why am I taking so long to think I should have thought of him, uh, before the video but uh, personally what is currently your favorite cookie that's above the epic status so it could be an ancient cookie it could be a legendary cookie and it could be a super epic cookie so really i know your options are kind of limited but still you, you've got some valid options you got the a current ancients you have pure vanilla holly berry dark uh, cacao you have the uh yeah i said ancients yeah you have the legendaries frost queen and sea fairy and you got the super epics of oyster and clotted cream I think those are some valid options to uh, try and decide uh, which one would be your favorite. For me, personally, out of all those selections, I think I really do enjoy, uh, honestly, honestly, it's really hard to choose, but it's definitely one of the ancients. I really like everyone. Oh, I gotta, I gotta do some healing, man. It's starting to get low. Uh, but, yeah, I just really, I think, personally, if I had to choose, it would either be, uh, Hollyberry or Dark Cacao, because their attitudes are so different, but I can appreciate them for who they are. Like, Dark Cacao has so much backstory and, like, sadness behind them because of what they're going through. But also, Hollyberry is just a jolly old chef. And I also like Pure Vanilla, too, but I feel like a Hollyberry is just, like, expression of everything. It's just, like, so cool. And I could be wrong on that. Maybe Hollyberry isn't as nice as I would assume, but I don't know much about the story from where I'm at. So, oops. Sorry. I'm not that informative with story. By the way, Game Wisdom Gaming actually left a pretty lengthy comment who says uh, a few things about Oyster Cookie. She can summon up for four soldiers depending on her uh, cooldown stat, and I'm pretty sure she needs about 24.5% cooldown. Jelly Watch to summon all four soldiers to equip her swift chocolate almonds if you intend to use her. Also, the soldiers she summons are, spoiler, they're basically guards of House Oyster, armored by, uh, created by, oh wait, em empowered by spoiler, created by spoiler. You will learn once you reach chapter three of the Cookie Odyssey. Oh. I like how you, I like how you block the words with spoiler. Just in brackets, just spoiler. I like that. Thank you so much for telling me that. That means, like, should I use Oyster Cookie as a viable option for my team? But I wouldn't know who to swap out. Like, should I swap out Eclair? Because I feel like my team is good enough as I did already. I don't know. But hey, look at that. More loot. And there's a the hammer there. I gotta remove this, and I think just doing this can get me more quests done. Three shovels! Alright, but you better give me some good loot out of that. Yep, and that's a bunch of XP jelly, along with a bunch of XP. There we go. Alright, what's next? 11, uh, 5, 11, 6, I think I'll do one more level, then I'll end the episode, because I feel like, uh, length will be decent enough, or I could do two, but I don't know, I guess it depends on the length. I swear, this is why I record at night. Whenever I record at day, then cars just always drive past. Every single time they would drive past. Alright. While I'm doing this, by the way, there's a plumbing bot comment right here, gotta get rid of the bots. Purge the bots! Oh, I'm, I'm too focused on getting rid of the bots game, help me! 
I would appreciate if like YouTube would actually not not bug out the comment section and so I can actually remove this playing robot comment, I swear. You're not gonna try and scam my audience. If you try and do that, I will m destroy you. <laughs> I almost said something bad. But uh, from Icy Able, I'm pretty sure. Yep, it's from a uh, AC. <laughs> Icy Able, they say. So just reached 12:30. The level is an absolute nightmare. I don't. I don't even lose by the boss. I lose by being timed out because I didn't kill the boss in time. Also, something on Oyster. She requires 24% cooldown. Yep, here we go again. Cooldown reduction to have all four soldiers in the battle, but mostly three is enough because the main focus is the crit buff she gives. Yeah. I'm guessing to really utilize uh, Oyster Cookie, you really need those uh, cooldown toppings. If you don't, then you're just not you're just not using her optimally. You're just not doing well. I think I can actually get through another level because I actually went through this pretty fast. I mean, there's still some enemies left, but like I don't think that really makes a difference. Just you just gotta shred through them. Come on. This should be it. Yeah, there we go. Uh, another comment from Red for Herodom who says the update made me 100 normal cookie cutters and over nearly 60 special cookie cutters. Yeah, at least, the, at least the update is, like, giving you a lot of loot. Because, seriously, if it didn't do that, then, uh, I'm not sure where I would be. And I would probably be not in a good situation as I am right now. Oh, wait. It, this was, this season, it's not even 11.6, 11.5. Alright, well, I guess I'll do this level in the, in the episode. And I'll actually read the rest of the comments since there's barely any. Pain Machine says, day one of asking to do a no-cookie-gotcha series. A no-cookie-gotcha? What, what is that supposed to mean? So, is that, like, I can only... So I can only play through the game, but I can't pull any cookies from the cookie gotcha. I feel, honestly, if I did that, like, I could consider it. However, if I feel like if I did that, I would have to focus so much on the game and try and utilize every single way on how I can get cookies without using the cookie gotcha. Because, oh my gosh, that sounds so painful. So maybe I'll do it at some point, but today is not the day. Or soon is not even the day. Uh, here's a long comment from B4 Sil, B4 S I L L, who says, "Man, Oyster has such a nice design. My sister finally upgraded the game after uh, I don't know a week or two, and she got Oyster plus Sea Fairy and Dark Cacao duplicate. Nani. Uh, I really want her. Honestly, I downloaded Kicker and Kingdom again after two months, and now I'm missing only three characters: Cream Puff, Quality Cream, and Oyster. But the game crashes after like five minutes when I enter it. If it's probably my phone, but eh, it might be the phone, but I'm not sure. It could be really many things." Because uh, sometimes I know Kingdom is just going to have those plumbing laggy things that happen, which sucks. There's two last, two more comments which are really short. Uh, George, George, or Jorge, it's, it's, it's spelled J-O-R-G-E, Lacona, says hello. And Bambi is sad because C-R-I-D-A-B is gone. Don't know what that is, but they also said first. And I'm sorry that you're sad, I really hope you feel better. We read all the comments on that video, and now we made it to basically the end of this video. So I'm happy that, about that. The first couple levels of this wasn't too bad, but I'm expecting that it's really going to ramp up in difficulty later. But for now, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it. Also, share with your friends for more quick-run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Or you want to, hit the bell to be notified of whatever I do in the future. And also, I have merchandise available that you can buy, but I'm not forcing you to buy anything at all. And also, I have a Discord down in the description that you can join because it's a fun time over there. And last but not least, the quick-run iceberg might be close or might be over 100k views when I upload this video. I don't know, but we're getting super close and I really hope that we hit it. But above all else, I will see you, Entities and Guardians, in the next video. Hail the hype! Thanks.